Hey, Danny Myers here again with Lighthouse Video Surveillance, and we are at ISC West 2019, and I'm here with Murray Kreutzer, and he is with Raytech, and he's going to tell you a little bit about their company. Murray? Yeah, Raytech is, uh, is, is well known for being a worldwide manufacturer, the only worldwide manufacturer of a lighting for video surveillance systems. Very good. Now tell us, Murray, for the end user, I'm a client, how, would, how does off-camera lighting or additional lighting help when it comes to the video surveillance? Well, actually, today's cameras, increasing in resolution, uh, require more light because their pixels are a lot tinier. And there's a lot of cameras with infrared built in. They just don't perform properly. So it really makes sense to use Raytech Vario series illuminators. In fact, active infrared illuminators to benefit a nighttime scene. Daytime, there's lots of light coming off the sun, but at night you need to have lighting for sure. Okay, now tell me this. I mean, there, there are, I see cameras all the time that have infrared light built onto them. Why wouldn't I just go with a camera like that? That's cheaper, it's, you know, it's more compact, it probably looks nicer, why wouldn't I do that? Well, you just said one word already, cheaper. Uh, <laughs> ours are top-end, world-class uh, illuminators with a good 10-year lifespan, five-year warranty, but they produce exceptional imaging, and there's reasons we can get into in a few minutes, but it provides even illumination, uh, and it doesn't matter whether it's the smallest illuminator we offer with three LEDs, or it's the largest one, our 16 series, to get 1,500 feet, it's still the same amount of illumination. In fact, Raytech promises that light. There's And there's really no standard for lighting in the security video industry at all. So we're trying to set that standard at Raytech. Yeah, I actually have seen that issue, you know, with different brands where they're, they're stating, you know, it'll work up to 2,000 feet or it's gonna work, in, you know, it, it, it doesn't really give you a clear definition of what that actually means. And so I exactly. really appreciate Raytech trying to make a standard and, and I, I've experienced that with the Raytech product that the distance that we're trying to capture we can actually get with your product. Now, yep. tell us a little bit about um, some of the challenges. What are some of the challenges by using can lights that are on the camera? A lot of times they're cheaper LEDs. They don't last as long as our premium LEDs would, would last. Uh, sometimes they're, they're set at a 30 degree angle, but it's set in with a camera that has a, a very full go lens. It doesn't make any sense. When you go a wide beam, you got that center spot beam. We find that a lot of dealers and integrators contact us and tell us that this lamp, this camera with built-in infrared does not get the distance that they say on their data sheet. They always come back. In fact, they always come back and ask for our illuminator to add to that camera to make yeah. a better nighttime. Yeah. What are some of the other challenges with on-camera LEDs? So yeah, they, they, the cameras with built-in infrared and it's because of the infrared that that's why there's so much heat buildup around the camera. So that attracts insects and spiders uh, and just what they do, obviously they'll build a nest or a web around it. They actually get inside, they, say they poop on the camera and they make a big mess. If you have a standalone uh, Raytac Vario Illuminator with a camera, which is about two, three feet away from the camera, even though they, they, they'll attract insects and bugs away from the camera, so that's another big benefit. Yeah, they're not, the, standalone the bugs that are being attracted to the light or to the heat, it's not right in front of the camera, it's over to the side. Uh, something else that I, that I know from personal use is, is that, I mean, if the, the camera itself, it might last 10 years, but the infrared light in that camera, it probably won't last 10 years on these ones that are on camera. Yeah. And so you may have to replace the camera, not because the camera's have gone bad, but the infrared light, uh, infrared luminar has gone bad, or it's overheated or something like that's caused yeah. issues. Whereas if you've had it, you have it as a separate piece of hardware, the camera's doing its job and the light's doing its job. Yeah, that's right. You're not trying to combine that's the two. Right. And hey, you know, everybody wants to save some money, but, but is it really saving money in the long run if you're having to change your cameras more frequently and you're having to deal with these issues? That's right, right so. that's right. At Raytech, we offer low voltage power, uh, we have, which would be like a 12 volt DC, 24 volt AC. Very simple to set up with today's cameras, which are also the same power, or today's more advanced PoE powered, PoE plus and PoE yeah. plus plus powered. And on top of that, even a smarter system, we have intelligent network illuminators that you can control off the network with, with video management systems. Yeah. And another system called HTTP commands where you command the light to do what you want it to do in the program. Yeah, that's great. So you can lower the intensity, 
Uh, you can have someone walk on the perimeter when when it's no, normally at 50% power, but when they're triggered and they're seen on the perimeter, the light bumps up to 100% power, so you can identify people on the perimeter. That's great. That's great. Uh, so, real quickly, tell us just a little bit about these, uh, these the product lines you yep. have here. So we have a wide range of, uh, of IR and white light illuminators. Typically the, the black illuminator is an infrared illuminator. The white is a white light. So visible light versus invisible light that a black and white camera can only see. Today's cameras are generally color and day switching to black and white at night. Black and white at night, these illuminators produce twice the distance than that of a, a white light illuminator. In a lot of cases, it's good to get uh, use uh, invisible light. Uh, because of that distance, but also gets you very good, clear, concise images. So from our very smallest two series illuminators that are available in low voltage and PoE, uh, it's only three LEDs, gets this in an infrared format, gets 150 feet by about 80 feet. That's tremendous for only 10 watts of power. And then there's a wide range in between up to our largest illuminator, single panel illuminator called the 16. And we can do actually with with, with no lens inside, we can get 1,500 feet of illumination at a 10 degree beam. Nice feature about Raytac Vario is that we have interchangeable lenses. We can remove the lens and uh, the lens is a holographic lens that produces an elliptical beam or a football or eyeball shape so it has no hot spots on the scene. So we provide a 35 degree lens, we also provide a 60 degree lens and with no lens inside you get a 10 degree lens. So you can actually, if you think you need a wider beam, you can easily do that right with the same illuminator that you bought. So we have options of an 80 degree and a 120 degree uh, beam pattern as well. As you can see from this unit here, it's a double panel. We also offer a triple panel to cover a full 300 and well, 180 degree beam. Two of them would cover uh, 360 degrees. So there's that's why we call it Vario. It's very it's variable. You might say. Yeah, very good. Well, thank you. I, I think that'll finish it up for us here uh, with Raytech and yep. Danny Myers here with Lighthouse Video Surveillance signing off. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>